it's about to record. Yeah. So, good morning. Good morning, class. Good morning, po. Good morning, good morning po. Good morning. I am so excited to meet you, to finally see your faces. Okay, so this is English. This is an English subject. And I am your English teacher. I am Miss Jenlyn C. Brazil. Okay, you can call me Teacher Jen. It's like what I've posted in the Facebook group. Okay, I presented my video. You can call me that. Okay. Okay. So, let's start our day with a self-introduction. So, I already introduced myself. Habi ko po, ako po si Teacher Jen. I am Miss Jenin C. Brazil. You can call me Teacher Jen. I am your English teacher. So, my hobbies are singing. I also dance. I also cook some foods. Ano? So, that's my, those are my hobbies. Okay, so let's start with your self-introduction. So, ano ba ang composition ng self-introduction natin? We have this uh, simple self-introduction. So, you can state your name, okay, para makilala ko kayo. And the grade and section, your age, and your hobbies during this pandemic. Okay, so, or during this period, ano ba yung uh, na na develop nating hobbies while pandemic. So an example for this, ayan nakikita niyo ba yung e.g. dot? Nakikita niyo ba to? 'Di ba nakikita niyo to sa inyong assessment test? Ah na sige po, mag-unmute po ako magsasalita. Nakikita niyo po ba 'yon e.g. dot? Yes, precious. Apo. Okay. Okay, so unmute ulit tayo, precious. Okay. It means Example given. So, hindi ako naglalagay ng word na X. Okay? So, ang ilalagay natin E dot G dot. It means example. Okay? Example given. So, for example, Hi, I am Juan C. De La Cruz from grade 5 Zamora. I am 10 years old. My habits during this pandemic or during this period are singing, dancing TikTok, and helping my mother to cook our food. Thank you. So, that's the simple way of self introduction so let's start with sino yung nauna si charis okay let's start with charis can you please uh introduce yourself good morning everyone i hi i my name is charis emerald emokin day five osmenia i'm 10 years old my hobbies during this period are editing videos and singing thank you Okay, thank you so much, uh, Charisse. Okay, now, who's next? Sige nga, sino naman? You can raise your hand. Pindutin ito kung gusto para hindi tayo sabay-sabay masalta. Or you can raise your hand like this one. That's fine. Sige, who wants to be the next one? Wala. Let's, let's try to, ano, to start self in, uh self-introducing ourselves or let's try to start introduce ourselves rather so precious okay precious hi everyone i am precious lorraine niboy lagan grade 5 zamora i am 10 years old my hobbies during this pandemic are tiktok and help my mother to clean the house and taking my brother thank you Wow, thank you then, Precious. Ayan, tumutulong pala sa nanay na maglinis ng bahay. Okay, now who's next? So, let's start with, um, pwede na ba si AJ, si, ah, si Ken, Flor? Sige nga, kahit Tagalog, that's really fine. Hi, I'm Ken, Daniel, and Flor. 
My grade 5 Zamora. I am 10 years old. <laughs> My hobbies during this period are dancing in tutulong sa magulang. Ayan. Thank you, Ken, for that. Ayan, tumutulong sa magulang. Okay, so one of the hobbies developed by Ken. Next one is, sino yun? Sino yung nag ng hand? Ah, okay, siguro si ano naman to, kay Miss Librando. Ano bang pangalan ulit ni Miss Librando? Hi, my name. I am Jos Heya Peti Librando from grade 5 Zamora. I am 10 years old. My hobbies are dancing, TikTok, and watching Netflix. Thank you. Wow! Dancing TikTok and watching Netflix. Talaga namang bongga, no? May pang Netflix pala to si... Ano nga ulit? I forgot the name. Ano nga ulit yon, Miss Librando? Josaya Petty Librando po. Josaya? Josaya po. Josaya? Opo. Tapos? Librando po. Josaya... Yeah, Librando. Okay. So, tama ba yung, ayan, Josiah Fe Librando. Okay, now let's start, let's move on. Sino naman yon? Siguro kay Princess naman itong isang floor, no? Sige nga. Hi. Good morning. My name is Princess K and Floor. I'm 10 years old. I love to dance on TikTok. And I'm Pipe Samura. Okay. Okay, your hobbies daw. Ayan, may nagko-coach na sa'yo dyan. <laughs> Sige, your hobbies? Ano yung mga hobbies? I love dance TikTok. Ayan. To dance TikTok. Okay. She also dances TikTok. Siguro pag nagkita na tayo, pag nag-meet na tayo, you can teach me how to dance using the TikTok dance. Okay? Now, let's proceed. Thank you, Princess. Tama ba, Princess? Tama po. Okay. Next. Sino nang sunod natin? Mas maganda yung hindi tinatawag eh. Mas maganda yung nagre-raise lang ng hand. Okay? I really appreciate those persons who raised their hand. No? So, please try. Ayan. Sino kaya ito? Na-excite talaga ako. Ayan! Si Ava. Okay, Ava. Good morning. Please unmute your microphone. Hi, I am Ava Contreras from grade 5, Daguhoy. I am 11 years old. My hobbies during this period are singing, dancing, playing badminton. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Ava. You're playing badminton pala. Okay? Sayang. Kung may face-to-face -face tayo, you might be one of the players ano po, of the Pili West Central School. So, next. Uh, please unmute. Okay? So, tapos na si... Yung dalawang floor, si Princess and Ken, si Ava, tapos na si Precious... Si Jaseya. Okay. Tapos na rin si, nauna si Charis, Tama ba yun, Charis? And siguro tawagin naman natin si uh, Shandy. Shandy, are you still here? Hi. My name is Shandy A. Caparas. I'm from grade 5, Solomon. I am 10 years old. And my hobbies during this period are reading, drawing, playing with my little sister, and helping my mother do household chores. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that, Shandy. Ayan. So let's admit Colleen. Okay, thank you for that, Shandy. Napaka active, napaka enthusiastic. Okay, uh, in talking. I really appreciate that. So let's proceed with. Uh, tapos na si Shandy magpakilala. Um, let's start. Uh, let's move with uh, Nestor Valiente. Kahit off cam, you can do that. Diba? Hello? Oh, sigur na i-iyak. Sige, Nestor. Hi, I'm Nestor T. Valiente. From grade 5 Zamora, I am 11 years old. My hobbies are playing, watching movies. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nestor. Ayan, nakausap po yung nanay mo kagabi. And I'm really glad that you uh, joined this 
um, discussion. So, siguro tawagin natin si, um, sino yun? Colleen Espiritu. Ito ba yung totoong pangalan ng bata? Please unmute po. Uh, hindi po ma'am, bali parents po. Ah, parents. Yung okay. account ko lang po yung ginamit po. Okay, okay. recorded po ito ma'am ha. Recorded po atang lecture. Nasaan po yung bata? Uh, pwede ko na siguro siyang ipakilala na lang. Or pwede naman siyang magpakilala by using this sample. Ayang nakalagay yung name, grade and section, the hobbies, and the age. Okay. Ito na po siya ma'am. Yung ito po siya. Yes. Magpapakilala na lang po. Yes, yes, yes. Hello po. Ako po si Hilary J. Despiritu, 11 years old. From grade, from what section? Anong section mo daw? Grade 5, Palma. Okay. Meron ka bang hobbies na na-develop ngayong pandemic? Kumakanta ka mm. ba? Sumasayaw? Anything? Mm. Kapag nasa ano po ako, um, nasa banyo, nagkakanta-kanta po ako. Tapos kapag wala po akong magawa, nag-drawing-drawing ako. Wow, that's good. Okay, that's one of the good hobbies. Commonly sa atin, umaawit, sumasayaw, nag-drawing. We help our uh, parents to clean. Ano po? So that's a good hobby. Ano po? That's a good activity for us. Okay, so we're done with self-introduction. Now, uh, before we formally start our lesson, we have our virtual classroom rules. Ano po? So, so let's, let us know the rule. No, so rule number one is be quiet. Actually, during face-to-face, -face, this is my first rule, is to be quiet. So sa atin naman, we can do that by uh, pressing this button, itong icon na ito. Nakita niyo po ba itong icon na tinuturo ko? Opo. Opa. Yes. What does it state? Anong nakasulat dito? Microphone off. Microphone okay. off. Yes, microphone or Microphone off. off. Yes, microphone off. So, tingnan ko nga kung lahat kayang gawin yung microphone off. Let's, let me see. Lahat na ba? Oh, meron pang hindi. Ayan. Okay, so, lahat na nakapag microphone off. So, that's our first rule. Rule number one is be quiet. Next rule. Rule number two is sit like a prince or princess. So, how can I see that you sit like a prince or princess? So, by turning on your camera. So, kung hindi na nahihiya, you can turn it on. And I would like to see if you're sitting like a prince or princess. Kasi if we sit directly, uh, the tendency is that we can concentrate with our lesson. Okay? So, next. Rule number three is raise your hands or raise your hand rather if you want to ask a question or if you want to answer. So dito, makikita niyo yung button na ito. Nakikita niyo po ba yung tinuturo na teacher Jen? Opo. Opo. Okay. Opo. So you have to raise your hand if you want to answer or if you want to ask a question. So ito po ang pipindutin. Tingnan niyo po yung pinipindot ni teacher. Yan. Okay. So try nga natin kay... Uh, Nestor. Sige nga. Nestor. Si Nestor muna. Try natin. Nestor, can you please raise your hand? Okay. Next is Kai Charis. Okay. Next is Kai Precious. Shandy. Okay. Ken. Um, Josea. Um, Ava. Princess. And kay Miss Espiritu. I sorry, I forgot the name again. Miss Espiritu. And yun na. So we have five, nine participants for this morning. And I'm so happy for that. So ganun po tayo ha. Rule number three. If you want to ask a question, you can press this. <laughs> or kung naka-open naman ang video, you can just raise your hand. Pero better if you just click this one because there's a sound na po compared nung ganito lang. Hindi ko masyado makikita because I'm presenting a PowerPoint. Okay? Now, so we have our virtual questions. So, 
we have the virtual classroom rules aside from the discussion proper we have the virtual classroom rules and um ito yung question na ito so sino pwedeng makapagbasa ng question na ito sige na who wants to read the first question okay we have nauna si sino ba nauna dito precious okay precious what should the pupils with internet connection or cell phones do? Okay, thank you, Precious. So, what should the pupils with inter internet connection or cell phones do? Ano ba ang gagawin ng mga bata na merong internet connection kapag gusto nilang magtanong? So, tatanong, magtatanong kayo sa akin yan through text, through chats, or through calls, kung lalo na sa section ko, sa section ko po kasi may cell phone number ako. Or, sa ibang section naman, you can uh, write your question in the chat box or you can ask your advisor to forward your question to me. And then later, I will answer the question. Okay po. So, yun po ang mga gagawin ng mga batang merong internet connection. Next. Next one. Who can read the second one? Sige nga. Okay. Uh, siguro si Shandy naman. Uh, Shandy? For those who without an internet connection, what should you or parents do? Okay. So ano naman ang gagawin ng mga bata na walang internet connection? Let's say for example kayo ay walang internet connection. Ano? Kasi siguro brown out. So what should you do? So nakita niyo yung picture. Meron ditong nakalagay na sticky note. So you can write your sticky note. Or you can write your question sa remarks na isesend ko sa inyo sa inyong assessment test. Di ba meron kang remarks doon? Nakakita na ba kayo ng remarks sa assessment test niyo sa English? Nakita nyo na ba? Sino nang nakakita nung sa babang parte ng English nila? Meron ba? You can raise your hand. Okay, si, si Ken. Nakakita na daw. So doon, you can ask your question. Or kung mahaba yung question niyo, you can just Yes, Ken. You can just put it on or you can just write it on a sticky note and put it on the assessment test. So, if you have some question. Okay. Next. Third one. Who wants to volunteer to read the third question or to the, read the third statement? Okay. Iba naman siguro. Who wants to read this one? Oh, wala na. Oh, sino kaya? Oh, Ken, sige nga, pakibasa itong ikatlo, Ken. For those will see cellular phone and internet connection, will, will you ask me so, such question? Okay, so for those with cellular phones and internet connection, when will you ask me? So yung me dito is referring to your teacher, to your English teacher. So kailan nyo daw ako tatanungin? Araw-araw ba? Oras-oras nyo ba akong tatanungin? No. So, you can ask me from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay? So, pag beyond 5 p.m., please refrain asking question. Ano po? Okay? Next, number four. Sino naman? Oh, Miss Espiritu, can you please read the fourth one? As how should you or your parents observe in asking those questions? Okay, thank you. So, how could you ask those questions? So, pwedeng ikaw po ang magtanong, pwede naman yung magulang ninyo. So, paano yun? Gumamit ng mga magagalang na salita. You can start your question or you can start your statement with, Good morning, ma'am, para maganda ka agad ang bati sa atin. And then after that, you can... Use the word thank you after answering all your queries or questions. Ano po? So, maging magalang, maging Tagalog man po yan or English, uh, okay lang sa akin. Pero if you can try to speak English, that's better. Okay? So, that's our virtual questions or the virtual classroom rules. So, now, let's start our topic. Ito, hindi pa ito na ibibigay sa inyo. Kasi po, uh, due to health reasons, pinasuspend muna po. Ano po? So, I will discuss this topic because after uh, after this, 
next week, pagbigay ko sa inyo, I might give the assessment test. So, ayan, Dazzling Darling. Talk na Dazzling Darling. Hello, Dazzling Darling. Who are you, please? Dazzling Darling, are you still here? Okay, so let's start our topic, clipped words. So easy clips. Okay, so what is clipped word? Uh, who can read? What's clipped word? Okay, Dazzling Darling, sino ba to? Pakilala ka muna siguro sa akin before you start... Uh, uh, Ako po si Hilary. Nakalimutan ko po kasi na ano, na ipalitan po yung nickname ko. Ah, okay. Yung Colleen ba ito, yung Colleen? Kanina? Apa. Okay, okay. Hilary. Hi, Hilary. Can you please read the first, ano, the first definition? Clipped words Clip. refer... Clip. Clip. Clipped words refer to words formed by deleting one or more si syllables from a larger word or phrase, phrase without changing its meaning okay thank you uh hillary so clipped when we say clipped words parang clinip mo siya kung nakakita na kayo ng clip paper yung clip na pang clip sa mga papel it's like that ano po pero dito paano ba ginagawa yung clip words so it refers to the words formed by deleting. When we say delete, inaalis. We remove one or more syllables from a larger word or phrase without changing its meaning. So, ibig sabihin, magde-delete ka dito ng isa o higit pang syllables mula sa malaking words or phrase. Pero hindi magbabago ang kahulugan ng meaning na ito. Okay, so an example for this is abdominal muscles. So, pag pinaliit mo, ano bang tinanggal natin dito sa abdominal muscles? Sige nga, tingnan ko nga kung gaano kayo ka-observant. Ano ang tinanggal natin? You can raise your hand. So, from abdominal muscles, naging abs na lang. Sige, Kien. What does we remove here? Kien? Are you raising your hand? Ah, sige, let's try princess. Ay, sorry, um, precious rather. Dominal muscle. So, we remove, that's correct, we remove dominal muscles or dominal muscles. So, it forms two abs. Naging abs na. Alam nyo bang ibig sabihin ng abs? Alam nyo po ba? Saan nakikita ang abs? Sige, Hillary. Mm, sa chan po. At saka po sa... Mm, sa chan lang po. Yes, that's correct. Sa chan, yung dinadevelop karamihan ng mga boys and syempre ng girls din. No? Yun yung abs natin sa parte ng chan. So that is abs. Or kung larger word naman siya or phrase, it's called abdominal muscles. So, alam na natin pala na magtatanggal pala tayo ng one or more syllables para maging siyang clip word. Okay? Pero it doesn't change the meaning of that word. Okay. So, we have different four types of clip words. So, we have back clipping. So, later I will discuss the meaning of this four types of clippings. Okay, we have four clipping. Third is middle clipping. Fourth is complex or compounding clipping. Or we can call it, for the sake of uniformity, we can call it complex clipping. Okay, so number one is back clipping. Pag sinabing back, saan kaya tinatanggal ang syllables? So, ayan, nakuha na natin yung unang example, ano? Yung abs from abdominal muscle. So, from the example, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng back clipping? So, it means that we have to remove the end part 
of the word. Ayan. So, anong inalis na ulit natin dito sa abs? Sige nga. Sinong pwedeng makasagot? Ano yung ulit anong inalis natin dito? Uh, pre precious? Dominal muscle. Okay, that's correct. We remove dominal muscle because we end the end. We delete or we remove the end part of the word or phrase. Okay? What about the, sec the second one? By. Ano naman ang inalis natin? Yes, Ken. Big. Big session. It's by sexual. Anong inalis natin dun, Ken? Sige nga. Abdominal muscle. Mm -hmm. Oo, tama yun yung kanina. Tinanggal natin yung abdominal muscle. Nandito na tayo sa second one. Dito sa by. Galing daw yung salitang why sa bisexual. O sige, let's try um, dun si Hillary. Hillary, ano bang tinanggal natin dito, Hillary? Sexual po. Okay, that is correct. We remove sexual. Sorry na sobrahan lang yung tanggal ko. Ano? Pero we remove the word sexual. So, from ang bi pala, ibig sabihin pala niyan ay bisexual. So, we remove the end part of the word or phrase. So, that's what we call back clipping. Clinip mo siya, pinaliit mo siya, pero tinanggal mo yung end part. Okay? So, that is back clipping. Now, the second type of clip word is what we call for clipping. Ano naman ang na-observe ninyo sa mga examples dito? From phone, uh, from telephone, naging phone, from example, naging sample. Ano ang na-observe ninyo dyan? Ano kaya ang inalis natin? Sige nga, let's try. Who wants to answer? Please raise your hand. Okay, Precious, what can you say about it? Telephone, tele. Okay, we remove the word tele. Ayan. Ano naman ang na-observe ninyo? Kung ang back clipping, we remove the end part, yung tail niya, yung last part, ano naman ang tinanggal natin sa for clipping? Oh, um, Charisse. Beginning po. That's correct. We remove the beginning or the start of the word. Inalis natin yung beginning part of the word. So from this one, from phone, ay from telephone rather, we remove the word tele, the four letters T-E-L-E, -E, and naging na lang siyang phone. Okay? But it has the same meaning. Okay. Next, second word is from sample, uh, from example, naging siyang sample. Ano naman ang inalis natin dito? Yes, uh, princess. Princess, floor? Po. X. Okay, inalis mo daw yung X or yung letter E kasi ginawa na siyang sample. Or, ito yung example na example lang ha, hindi yung tinuturo kong example given kasi uh, abbreviation yun. So here, example, we remove letter E to form sample. Okay. So, that is for clipping. Let's start again with the first type of clipping. Yung back clipping, ang inalis ay yung end part. For clipping, ang inalis or we remove the beginning part of the word or phrase. Now, let's move with the third type of clipping. The third type of clipping is middle clipping. So, an example for this is flu from influenza. Okay? Ano naman sa tingin ninyo ang inalis sa middle clipping? Who wants to answer? Okay, Charis. Bini. Beginning and ending. That's correct, uh, Charis. We remove the beginning and the end part of the word. Okay, so we retain the middle part, which is flu. So let's see the first example from influenza, naging flu na lang. So we remove what ano, what uh, letters or ano yung mga nababasa ninyong inalis natin dito. Who wants to answer? Uh, yes, Ken. Anong inalis natin dito, Ken? In the... In, saka... 
yung enza. So we remove in and enza and we retain the word flu. So kapag sinabihan pala, ah, may flu yung anak ko, it means that it's influenza. Okay? So yan pala ang um, clip word ng influenza. Flu. Okay? So that is middle clipping. So later we will have a simple activity. Ano po? So uh, let's try to listen very well. Next, second example from detective nagi siyang tech. Ano ang ni-remove natin dito? Who wants to answer? So, uh, Hillary, what's your answer? Detective. Again? Detective. Okay, we remove de, syllable de, and we remove the second syllable tiv. Okay, de and tiv. Let's check if she is correct. Ayan. Tama ba yung answer ni Hillary? What do you think, Shandy? Is she correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Correct. correct. You're correct that Hillary is correct. Okay? So, we removed the syllable de and div. Now, let's move with the fourth type of clipping. So, we have here the complex clipping. So, as you can see, we have two words here. Science or science and fiction. Science and fiction. So, what do you think is being removed here? Sige, uh, princess. Princess? Princess floor? And saka Sean? Yes, that's correct. So, we remove this syllables okay so from two words we combine i mean we combine the two words and we remove some of its uh, syllables so from science fiction nagina lang siyang sci-fi ayan meron din tayong wi-fi uh, wireless fidelity so we remove it and we combine the two words Okay, so ito, ang pagkakaiba nito sa back clipping, kanina yung back clipping kasi kadalasan, uh, nire-remove mo talaga from the end of that first word hanggang sa second word talagang we remove it. Pero dito sa complex clipping, dalawang salita ang tinanggalan mo. And pinagsama mo yung dalawang salita. So that is for complex clipping. So from science fiction, here, naging na siyang sci-fi. So that is a complex, an example of complex clipping. The second one is mid-call. Ano naman ang tinanggal natin sa middle bro culture? Oh, middle bro culture. We have here uh, precious. Bell bro culture. Okay, uh, that's correct. We remove the syllable del bro and chore. Okay? So that's what we remove. Okay, we can try to start answering in a complete sentence. Like, like for example, we remove or we remove the syllable dilbro, dilbro and chewer. So para magandang pakinggan. So at least we can try to 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 speak English. Kahit simple sentence lang. Can you please repeat your answer, uh, princess? Sige nga, we remove the syllables. Um, who wants to? Uh, sige, sige, princess, please uh, answer again. And sorry. Okay, who wants to try? Siguro gusto kong marinig ang boses ni. Siguro wait lang, Hillary. Ha? Pakinggan natin si Ava. Nandito pa ba si Ava? Ava, can you please try answering the question again? Anyway, natanggal na natin yung mga syllables eh. Sige nga, Ava. Sige. 
Sige nga, sabihin mo nga, alin yung tinanggal natin dito? We remove what syllables? We remove the syllables del, bro, and chur. Okay, that's correct. Okay, mas magandang pakinggan kapag complete yung sentence. When we are answering the question, you can just repeat my question and try to put the uh, the answer. Ano po? So, we remove del, bro, and ur syllable. So, from middle bro culture, naging na siyang mid cult. Or, okay? So, that is complex clipping. Do you have any question with the four types of clippings? Meron ba kayong question? Nang nakabukas na lang kasi ng camera, si, ano na lang, si Shandy na lang. Oh, may question ka ba, Shandy? Kasi ikaw na lang nakikita ko ngayon. Do you have any question? None. None? How about the others? Do you have some questions? You can type... Wala po. Okay, Irene, you have no question. So, can we proceed with the exercise? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. We are ready. Okay, let's try this exercise number one. So, get your uh, paper and pen. Do you have your paper and pen with you? You can get it or you can get a scratch paper for you to be able to identify the types of clip words in this slide. So, are you ready? Can you please raise your pen and paper? Sige nga, raise natin. Ayan. Okay, I saw five participants raising their paper and pen. So, let's, let's answer number one. So... Ayan, gym. Clipped word niya is gym. And the original word is gymnasium. What type of clipped word is this? Gusto niyo bang balikan ko? Yung four clippings? Ah, sige, sulatin niyo muna tong four clippings natin para hindi kayo malito. Ayan. Sige nga, pagpipilian natin is back clipping, four clipping, middle clipping, and complex clipping. So you can write it first muna, itong apat na clipping. Back, four, middle, and complex clipping. Ayan, si Dean Santo Domingo. Hi, Dean. We're about to uh, finish, but you can still listen. Anong section si Dean? Uh, you can unmute and talk po. Hi, Dean. Is this your real name, Dean Santo Domingo? Po, ma'am. Yes. Okay. From what section are you? Grade 5 Suliman po. Grade 5 Suliman. Okay, that's good. Okay, so actually, Dean, we are almost done with the discussion, but I will post this video. Uh, can you please ask your parent if it's okay with him or her to record this video because all of your classmates here are are um, ag agreed with the recording. Pakita nung si mama or si papa na kasama mo ngayon. Or did they agree to record this? Andyan ba si mama mo? So, habang naghihintay tayo, you can ano, ha, write the types of clippings. Andyan ba si mama mo din? Pumapayag ba sila na i-record ko tong presentation? Kasi I will post this po. Okay. Okay lang po. Okay. So, Dean, please turn it off. Turn your uh, speaker or turn your microphone off. You can copy this one. Back clipping, for clipping, and middle clipping because we're about to do the exercise. Ano po? Kasi it's already 9.51. Okay. So, uh, please write it on the paper. For the rest, are you done copying this one? Back clipping? Yes, po. Yes. Yes, Abba, Shandy. Yes, you're done copying. So, po. We have, okay. So, we have the back clipping here. Ayan. Tinanggal mo yung later part. The, the ending part of the word. From for clipping, we remove the beginning part. Okay. 
Ah, din ha, makinig habang nag-scroll tayo. Middle clipping, we remove the beginning and the end part of the word. So, we retain, natira na lang yung gitnang parte. From influenza, naging flu na lang siya. From detective, naging de tech na lang siya. Tinanggal natin yung syllables na de and div. And from complex clipping, may tinanggal tayong part sa dalawang words. Ano po? Kasi yung back clipping kanina, tinanggal mo yung lahat ng end part. Dito naman sa complex clipping, we remove the two end parts of the, or two syllables of the two words. Okay? So from science fiction, naging sci-fi na lang. And from middle bro culture, naging mid cult na lang. So that is complex clipping. So let's do this exercise. I hope you are done copying the different types of clip words. So here, number one is gym. The original word is gymnasium. What type of clip word is this? Uh, Nakapag-answer na ba kayo? Raise your hand if you answer, if you already answered the question. Okay, Shandy is done. How about the others? Uh, Ava is also done. How about the others? Are you done answering? What type of clip word is this? Okay, Cherise, Hillary, they are all done. Ken, okay. Almost majority of the class have answered the question. Now, who wants to answer? Ano ba ang tinanggal natin dito sa original word? Sige nga. Nation. Oh, please raise your hand. Sabi natin, if you want to answer, rule number three, if you want to answer, raise your hand. Okay, Shandy. Nation is the word that is removed from gymnasium. What That's correct. We remove the syllables nation from the word from the original word gymnasium. So, what type of clip word is this? Sige nga, who wants to answer? Charisse, please answer. Back clipping po. Nakamute ka po, teacher. I'm so sorry. Who answered back clipping? Sige nga. Uh, Ava answered back clipping. How about the others? Shandy, how about the others? We have and also. Okay, so. Okay, Precious. Almost all of you have answered. Um, okay, Nestor also answered back clipping. Let's see if you are correct. Mamaya, mas maganda pala yung isulat na lang natin na ganyan, no? Para makita, ano? So, siguro mamaya. So, let's three, let's see. We remove nation. And the answer is back clipping. Sino ang mga tama sa number one? Sige nga. Okay. Tama si Ava. Si, si, sino yon Si, sino to? Si Precious, si Nestor, si Charis, and si Shandy. Okay. Now, let's proceed with the second question. Clip word is phone. From the original word is uh, and the original word is telephone. Anong type of clip word ito? At ano naman ang tinanggal natin? Sige nga. Oh, precious, can you please tell your answer? What is the syllable being removed here? Tele. Okay, and what about the type of clip word? Oh, sige. Ayaw na siguro ni Precious. Ano naman? Ano namang type of clip word ito? Okay, Hillary? For, for clipping. Let's see. Sasunod, kaya nyo bang iganito? Iga, gawin natin na ganyan? Ilagay yung answer? Kaya ba? Siguro next time. Next we next time that we discuss the, ano, the topic, you can just raise your paper. Okay? You can just put your answer so that I can really see if your answers are correct. Okay, for clipping, inalis yung tele, precious is correct. And the type of clip word is for clipping because we, re we remove the beginning part of the syllable or of the word. Next, number three. 
Ano yung number three? Who can read this clip word? Yes, Trendy? Fridge. Okay, it's fridge. So, thank you. The original word of fridge is refrigerator. Oh, di ba? Ganda. Mother, can you please open the fridge for me? Instead of using refrigerator, you can just write fridge or you can just tell us fridge. Di ba? Ang social ng dating. So, what are the syllables being removed in this word? Who wants to answer? Yes, Ken? The syllables being removed are? Ken? Complex. Clipping. Okay, sabi niya, complex clipping. Thank you, Ken, for that answer. Uh, sino pang merong ibang sagot? Yes, Ava? Middle clipping. Middle clipping. Why do you think so? Um, Ava. Ano bang tinanggal natin dito, Ava? What are the syllables being removed here? Re and rator. That's correct. We remove the syllables re and rator. Okay? Next time, ha? Sagutin natin ng complete sentence. Okay, but your answer is correct. We remove re and rator. And therefore, natira na lang yung salitang fridge pero dinagdagan natin ng letter D. Okay, and the type of, okay, the type of clip word is middle clipping. Please raise your hand if you got the correct answer. Okay, tingnan nga natin kung sino mga tama. Wow, Shandy, si Ava, si Josea, si, Sh si Charisse. Si Nestor, si Kien, si Precious. Ayan. Si Princess. Kamusta kaya si Princess kung nagtaas din ng ano? Ng kamay. No? Pag lumalabas ka sa akin yung AJM. Yes? Ah, okay. Si Precious pala. Okay. Akala ko kasi si, si Kien ang gumagamit ng AJ Emmanuel. Saka yung Alona Floor naman is Princess. Okay? So... So, tama din pala si Princess. Mom, teka lang po. Yes po. Uh, yung, AJ, yung AJ pong pangalan. Okay. Ako po yung nagagamit, yung Princess. Ah, si Princess ang gumagamit ng AJ. Tapos, Opo. yung Alona ang gumagamit, si Ken. Tama ba? Opo. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry. Ayan. So, mamaya... Sabihan yung magulang, i-edit yung pangalan para next uh, discussion natin, mas mabilis ang pagtawag ko ng pangalan niyo Kaya tingnan nyo si Shandy, natatawag ko siya sa pangalan niya because yung name na nilagay niya, yung totoo niyang pangalan. And si Dean, ganun din. Si Ava, ganun din. Okay, so next time, patulong tayo sa magulang natin to, to change the name. Okay po? So, thank you for that. Now, let's move on with the fourth type. The fourth type, it is sitcom. And the original word of sitcom is situation comedy. Okay, ano kaya ang answer dito? What type of clip word is this? And ano yung ni-remove natin? What are the syllables being removed here? Ayan, sige nga. Raise your hand if you're done answering the question. So, sino yun? Nawala ka agad. Sino na yung mga tapos? Si Princess tapos na. Sino pa? Si Irene. Ay, sorry. Si Precious. Si Charisse. Sino pa? Si Shandy. Sino pa yon Si Ken. Si Ava. Sino pa? Dean, are you okay, Dean? Si Hillary tapos na rin. Si Dean, nagtatry ba mag-answer si Dean? Si Josea. Okay. Okay. Uh, Anyway, recorded naman ito. You can still listen. Ano po? So, what are the syllables being removed here? Sige nga, who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Yes, Charisse? The syllables removed are Wation and Edit. That's correct. We remove Wation and Eddie syllables. So, there are two syllables being removed here. 
the Vation and Eddie syllable. So what type of clip word is this? Who wants to answer? Please raise your hand. Yes, uh, Ava. Complex clipping. Okay, that's correct. The type of clip word is complex clipping. Oh, sinong tama dito? Please raise your hand. Let's see. Huwag mo nang tanggalin yung pagtaas ng kamay, ha? Shandy, Ava is correct. Charisse, Josea, Irene, Princess, Jasmine, Hillary, and Ken answered correctly. So that's good. Okay, so I believe that you already know the different types of clip words. So ito, makikita nyo to sa module ninyo, itong second exercise natin. Who wants to read the direction for this activity, for the second exercise? Sige nga, tingnan natin. Who wants to read the direction, the instruction? Ayan. Okay, princess, please read. Zuzi. Have you been to Excuse me princess the gym please for excuse me princess Princess uh, read the instruction ito na muna ito 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 Inasa taas yung read the short dialogue sige nga Read the short dialogue below mm -hmm. Look the clip words used in each sentence then write down their complete form. Okay, so you're going to read this short dialogue and the next step is that you have to look for the clip words used in each sentence. Tingnan ninyo, may mga clip words kaya sa lahat ng sentence and then, if you can, if you know, write down their complete or original form. So who wants to read the, ano, the Susie part? Sige nga, sinong gustong magbasa ng Suzy part? Yung sasabi ni Suzy. Okay, Hillary, who wants to read the Ryan part? Wait lang, Hillary. Ryan part, sinong mag gustong magbasa? Sige nga, okay, si Ken. Ken, are you raising your hand, Ken? Si Ken ba? Tama ba, Ken? Opo. Okay, so, sige, ang magbabasa sa Hillary... I see si, sa Zuzi, si Hillary, and for Ryan, si Ken. So let's start. Hillary, please. Have you been to the gym for the Benmination game? Oh, Ken. I have. I have. Have you heard of what happened to Carla? Why? What happened to her? Ken. She was brought to the hospital to see her doc. I heard the suffer from food poisoning. What did she eat? She had a burger which she got from the bridge. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Does, ha does she have to submit herself to for a lab test? I think so. I hope she gets will soon. Okay, thank you. Hillary and Ken. Sige nga, try naman natin yung iba. Kahit dalawang babae or isang babae, isang lalaki or dalawang lalaki. Who wants to try? Isa na lang, last one. Who wants to read Susie part, uh, princess? And Ryan part, who wants to... Oh, Precious, are you raising your hand, Precious? Precious, are you still there? Ah, uh, pa. Okay, so si... Si Princess magbabasa ng Suzy part. Si Precious naman ang magbabasa ng Ryan. So, let's start again. Have you been to the gym for the badminton game? I haven't. Have you heard of what happened to Carla? Why? What happened to her? She was brought to the hospital to see her doc. I heard she suffered from food poisoning. 
What did she eat? She had a burger which she got from the fridge. Oh, I'm sorry to her that those she have to submit herself for a lab test. I think so. I hope she gets well soon. Okay, congratulations kids. You really did a good job. So now I will give you two minutes to answer the question. Uh, identify the clipboards. We have five clipboards here. And the second instruction is to write the complete, complete form or the original word of that clipped word. So we have five clipped words and we have five complete or original words. Okay, I, uh, I will give you two minutes to answer that question. Your time starts now. If you're done, you can raise your hand. Okay, Shandy is already done. How about the others? Okay, Princess is also done. Okay, how about the others? Are you done? Precious is done. Nestor is done also. Ano yun? Hindi ko nakita. Pwede bang wag mo nang tanggalin yung, ano, yung raising hand? Don't remove it. Precious, Ken, Nestor, Shandy, Ava, and Princess are done already with this activity, with this second exercise. Now, let's try to answer. So, meron ba dito sa first part? Have you been to the gym? For the badminton game, do we have here a clip word? What do you think? Who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Are you raising your hand, Precious? Are you raising your hand, Precious? Or should Hindi I call po, teacher. Okay, Shandy, you're, are you raising your hand? Yes, okay. Is there a clip word here? Yes, and the clip what word is, is gym. What about, let's see, let's see if you're correct. Okay, that's correct. What about the complete or original word of Jim? Who wants to answer? Oh, uh, Precious? Gymnasium. Gymnasium. Let's see if you're correct. Wow, you're correct. Gymnasium. Next, second sentence. I haven't. Have you heard of what happened to Carla? Is there a clip word here in this sentence? What do you think? Yes, Shandy, do we have here a clip word? No, I don't okay, think so. There is a clip word in that sentence. Yes, you're correct. There is no clip word here. Okay, now let's proceed to the third sentence. Why? What happened to her? Is there a clip word here? What do you think? Ava. No. Okay, you're correct. There is no word here what about the fourth sentence she was brought to the hospital to see her doc i heard she suffered from food poisoning is there a clip word here yes shandy yes there is and that is doc and the full word is doctor let's see if you're correct oh you're correct and the Original word or complete form of doc is doctor. Okay, next. What did she eat? Is there a clip word here? Dean, Dean, are you still here? Dean, can you please answer? Is there a cl uh, clip word here? What did she eat? Is Dean around? Nandito pa ba si Dean? Dean. Narinig ba ako ni Dean? Meron bang clip word dito sa what did she eat? 
Wala po, ma'am. Ay, walang clipped word. So, there's no clipped word here, actually. So, you're correct. Next, she had a burger which she got from their fridge. Meron ditong ilang clipped words. Ilan ang clipped words kaya dito? Sinong sasagot? Hindi ko nakita. Okay, let's start with Shandy. Merong dalawang clipped word. Give the first clipped word and its original form. So, the first clipped word in that sentence is burger. And its original form is hamburger. Okay, let's see if you're correct. Oh, that's correct. And the meaning or the original word is hamburger. Precious, what's the second um, clipped word here? The second, the second is fridge. The original sentence is frigid, frigidor. <laughs> okay, the second uh, original word is Oh, that's correct. Fridge and refrigerator. Can you please read again this word, the original word of fridge, uh, precious? Ref refrigerator. Okay, thank you. Next sentence. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Does she have to submit herself for a lab test? Is there a clip word in this sentence? Sino yun? Um, are you raising your hand, Dean? Love po, ma'am. Oh, there's, her answer is love. Let's see if you're correct. Oh, that's correct. Love is the next clipped word. What is the meaning of love? Lab, rather. Yes, Ava. Laboratory po, ma'am. Oh, nag-answer si Dean. And Ava, what's your answer, Ava? Laboratory. Okay, that's correct. The word or the original word is laboratory. Okay, I think so. I hope she gets well soon. Is there a clip word in this sentence? Raise your hand, please, Ava. No. Ava? No. Okay, no. there is no clip word or none. Wala. Walang clip word. So we have five clip words. Ano yung mga five clip words natin? Sino naman ang pwedeng magbasa ng limang clip words? Yes, princess. The clip, five clip words are, ulitin natin sa complete sentence, the five clip words are, Jim, ulitin mo, the five clip words are, the five clip words is, are, Jim, okay, gymnastic, a gymnasium, doctor, Hamburger, refrigerator, laboratory, laboratory, laboratory. Okay, so yun yung original word natin. Ano yung sinabi ni, uh, ni princess. So what are the five clip words? Sige nga, sinong pwedeng magsabi? The five clip words. Yung pinaikli, what are those five clip words? Who wants to answer? Shandy? So the first word is Jim. The second one is Doc. The third one is burger. The fourth one is fridge. And the last one is lab. Those are the five clip words that are in this dialogue. Yes, that's correct, um, Shandy. Those are the five clip words. And what Princess said a while ago are the original or complete form of those clip words. So now let's do the third exercise. Okay, before you have your quiz, or I mean your assessment, let's have this exercise. So who wants to read the direction for this one? We have Ava. Please uh, read, Ava. Read the sentences and infer the meaning of the underlined clip words. Choose the letter of the correct answer from the given choices below. Okay, thank you, Ava. So, the first instruction is you have to read the sentences. So, we have here numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Dito sa baba. Nakikita nyo ba yung sa baba? Okay. So, yeah. Okay, thank you, Precious. So, yan. Babasahin natin yan. And we also have to read the options, the A, B, C, D, E, and F, written on the upper part of the sentences. Okay? And the second instruction 
is you have to infer the meaning of the underlined clip words. What do we mean by infer? You have to guess the meaning of the underlined clip word. So a while ago, we just identify the clip words and its original form. Now we're going to determine, we, go, we are going to infer the meaning of such word. So you have to choose the letter of the correct answer from the given choices below. So, basahin natin. So, habang nagsasagot kayo, papabasa ko na muna yung mga options. So, who wants to read op uh, letter A? Sige nga. Uh, Ava? A, a short written report containing information about a particular matter. Okay. That's letter A. What about letter B? Uh, Charis? <laughs> A person trained in the medical treatment of animals. Ayan, medical treatment of animals. Thank you, Charisse. The third one? I, uh, precious? The mother of a father or a mother. A woman who is an ancestor. Okay. The mother of a father or a mother. Ang nanay ng tatay at nanay mo. Or... A woman who is an ancestor. What about letter D? Option D. Yes, Hillary. A small informal restaurant serving drinks and snack. Okay. Ito lang ay isang maliit or informal restaurant that serve drinks and snacks. What about letter E? Yes, um, Ken. A room with special equipment for scientific experiment and test. Okay. Ito naman daw isang maliit na spe uh, room with special equipment you, for, uh, to be used for special experiments and tests. What about the last option? Who wants to read? Letter F, yes, uh, precious again. A public announcement in a newspaper, television, radio, internet, or magazine to advertise a product or an event. Okay, so this is a public announcement uh, which can be seen in newspaper, television, radio, internet, and magazine. Okay, now we have here the following sentences. So, determine or infer the meaning of the underlined uh, clip words by choosing your answer on the options that you have read a while ago. So, I will give you uh, three minutes to answer the questions. So, your time starts now. So, um, Princess and Shandy are done already because they are raising their hands. Charisse is also done because she also raised her hand. Princess and Kien, Ava, Precious are done also. Hilary is done. Nestor is done. How about Dean? Are you done, Dean? Not yet? Oh, Dean is also done. So, let's try to determine the meaning of the clip word. So, who wants to read first the statement in number one and uh, determine the meaning of that underlined word? So, let's call uh, Princess because Princess is raising her hand. Number one, Princess. Mr. Sammy's dog keep on vomiting, so they went to a vet to have his dog checked and treat. So, uh, Princess, what is the clipped word here? Ano ba yung naka-underline dito? Vet. Vet. 
Okay. What is the meaning of vet kaya? Sige nga, princess. What's your answer? What's your answer, princess? Are you still here, princess? Oh, who wants to answer? What is the correct answer for the first one? So we have Charis. Charis, what's your answer? B po. What is letter B? Please read letter B. A, pers a person trained in the medical treatment of animals. Okay, that's correct. So number one is letter B. Oh, can you see the answer now for number one? Oh, raise your hand if you see your if you see the answers. Yes, Shandy, Hillary, Ava, Charis have seen the answer. Okay, so vet is vet means a person trained in the medical treatment of animals. So they are the one who treat or the animals. They are the doctor of the animals because they are trained to treat the animals. So, number one is B. What about number two? Who wants to answer? Read first the statement and second is determine the meaning of that underlined word. Who wants to answer? Yes, uh, Ken. Granny is already 85 years old, but she can still dance for her favorite song. What is your answer, Ken? For number two? F. What is F? A public announcement in a newspaper, television, and radio, internet, or magazine to advertise a product. An event. Okay, sabi daw ni Ken, si Granny daw ay 85 years old na, but she can still dance to her favorite song. Is he correct? Public announcement ba to sa newspaper, sa television? When you say public announcement, announcement. Ano? Pampublikong announcement sa newspaper. What do you think, class? Is Ken correct? Yes, uh, Charisse, what do you think? No, teacher. Why do you think so, Charisse? What's your uh, answer, Charisse? What the, is mother, the mother of a father or a mother, a woman who is an ancestor. Okay, so... It is the mother of a father or a mother. How about the others? Do you have the same answer with Charisse? Uh, Shandi, are you, uh, do you have the same answer? Yes. Yes. Let's I do see. have the same answer. Okay, let's see if you have, if you're correct. So number two is letter C. So it is the mother of a father or a mother or a woman who is an ancestor. So that is the correct answer. Next, number three, who wants to read the third statement? Precious, are you raising your hand, Precious? No, po, teacher. Hindi po. Okay, who wants to answer? Who wants to read and answer? Yes, Dean. The manager heard a memo about the new company policies. So, the manager wrote a memo about the new company policies. What's, what is the correct answer for this uh, statement? What's the meaning of A memo? What's your answer, A Dean? A, A what was letter A, Dean? Can you please read letter A? A short written report containing inf information about a... Uh, Particular matter. Okay. You're correct. Number three is letter A. Okay. What about the fourth one? Who wants to read the fourth statement? Yes, Ava. And also answer. Right? Tell us your answer. 
My friend and I share stories while eating at a cafe. What is your answer? D. A small informal restaurant serving drinks and snacks. Okay, do you have the same answer with Ava? Who has the same answer? Hilary has the same answer. Am I right? Precious also has the same answer. So let's see if Ava is correct. So letter D. When we say cafe, it means a small informal restaurant serving drinks and snacks. How about number five? Who wants to read number five? Precious. Are you raising your hand, Precious? Do you want to answer or should I call someone else? Dr. Rayer Reyes performs his scientific experiment and researches inside his lab. And what is your answer? The clipped word here is lab. Letter E po. What is letter E? A room with special equipment for scientific experiment and test. Okay, let's see if you are correct. So number five is letter E. So who got five? Can you please turn on your camera? Okay, Charisse got five. Can you please uh, virtually raise your head if you got five? Who got five here? May I see? I will just take a screenshot so AJ doesn't open her his camera. And ano, sige nga, uh, si Princess, si AJ has not, have not opened yet their camera. Sige nga, tingnan ko nga. Ayan, so, so only, sinong naka-five? Please raise your hand. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So, eight got Five. Eight out of nine. How about you, princess? Did you get five? You got? What's that? What number is that? Five also? Okay, so almost... Okay, 100%. Nine out of five. Nine out of nine got a perfect score. Congratulations, kids. So next... Next is the assessment. I know that it is very small. I'm just showing you the entire assessment test but i will zoom it later okay so ito yung assessment test natin so dito sa unang part you have to write your name your grade and section the date and your score pero sa score wala ako maglalagay niyan so dito we have three questions three sets of um questions for this matter i already posted it in the grace uh, facebook group so you can just look at it so that uh, on october 6 you can pass your um, answered test. Pero dapat may copy kayo. Ano, titingnan ko lang kung nag-answer kayo or hindi. Ano po? Pero, pag binigay ko yung hard copy nito, you have to rewrite your answer in this assessment test. Pero on October 6, na pag usapan ng mga teacher, magbibigay kayo ng copy ng answer niyo dito. Ano? So, kahit sa papel lang muna. Pero, pag submit niyo sa akin ng assessment test, isusulat niyo na yung mga sagot niyo dyan. So, I would like to check if you really answer the question. So, dito sa last part, we have the teacher's remarks. So, pag chinikan ko yan, maglalagay ako ng remark. Let's say, for example, you are so good because you got a perfect score. And on the right part, ito, parents' remarks. Kausapin yung mga magulang na dapat merong remarks ang parents. Ano? Because I will be checking each of the assessment tests. So you, ha uh, you have to ask your parents to write their full name, their signature, and the date that they check your answer. Okay? Now, so ito yung unang quiz natin. Ayan, you can just copy this one. Hindi ko na to chechekan because this will be recorded. So you can write it on a scratch paper um, so that you can answer it already. Para madali kayong matapos. Okay? So, I think I will just give you, what? Three minutes to answer this? 
just write your, the letter of the correct answer para pag kinopy nyo, you can just uh, copy your answer when the assessment tests are given to you. Okay, three minutes starts now. Sino yung tapos na? If you're done, you can just raise your hand. So we have here Precious, Hillary, Ava, and Shandy. Shandy. So those four are done already. Charisse is also done. Princess is done. Okay, so can we proceed with the next um, with the next uh, assessment? Tapos na siguro lahat. Okay. Second assessment. Ito, mahabahay ba ito? Anyway, nandun to sa Facebook group. So, ano ang gagawin natin dito sa letter B? Ayan. So, ang gagawin natin sa letter B is that you have to encircle the clip words. Katulad ng ginawa ko, ito, from Mary practiced, example given, Mary practiced the formal dance taught by her teacher. For she wanted to attend the JS prom. The clip word here is from, and we have to box the synonymous words of the clip word. So, ano ba ang synonyms or ano ba ang meaning ng from na ito? So, it means formal dance. So, you have to box the meaning of the clip words. So, yun ang gagawin natin sa so, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Bakit 5 points lang ito? Tig kalahati sila ng score. So kung halimbawa may answer ka sa box pero wala kang answer sa circle, you will just get only one half point. Okay? So it's better to answer these two so that you can get a full perfect score for that particular number. Number one, Roy is the admin in the grade 5 activities page. He is the one who manages or organizes it. Number two, I downloaded this Brain Enhancer app in the Google Store. This software program helps me improve my study habit. Third, that blow made him a chump. He is now declared as the winner of the tournament. Number four, it is not easy to get the data, but the pupils needed the info for their research in science. And number five, my classmates presented their experiment in front of the class. They are really good in executing their demo. So those are the five sentences. Identify the clipped words in each sentence. You also need to box or determine the meaning of the clipped word in each sentence. Okay? So if you're done, we can proceed to the next uh, last part. Are you done? Not yet? Actually, I already posted it in the, no? Okay, so Princess is also already done. Precious, Ava, sino pa yan? Si Shandy, si Nestor. Actually, pwede nyo yung kapihin sa, ano ha, sa Facebook group natin. I already posted this activity. Okay, now let's proceed. Si Dean siguro, parang member naman siguro sa Facebook group. Tama ba, Dean? Nandiyan ka, na ba? Nandiyan ka pa ba, Dean? Dean? Member ba si mama mo sa Facebook group? Opo, ma'am. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay? So, you can just copy it. Pinicturean ko na po ito. Okay, next, number C. 
right? To make you bright, this is a performance output. So, mas mataas ang porsyento ng performance output. So, we have here four instructions for this activity. Kaya, you will get 15 points. Number one is to determine the clipped words of the original word inside the box. So, number one is bicycle, two is introduction, three is alligator, four is photo opportunity, and number five is refrigerator. So, determine now the clip words. Okay, so that's the first instruction. You have to determine. So, next is use the ident identified clip word in a sentence. So, after determining the clip words, you have to use it. You have to make a sentence by using those clip words. And number three, write the clip words synonyms in the sentence you have created. So, you can write two sentences. I know the first one is you can tell us the clip word and the second one is the meaning of that clip word or the synonyms of that clip word. An example for this one. Example given. Nakikita niyo ba tong example given? Ano yung example given natin? Chandy, can you please read the example given? There is a typo in the article I have read. The mistake in the spelling used makes me hardly understand it okay what is and the, the no, yes yes come please and the circled word is mistake okay so dito ang original word thank you shandy the original word here is typographical error so ang original word pala ng typo na binasa ni Shandy kanina is typographical error. So, hahanapin na ngayon yung uh, clip word ng typographical error. Ano ba ang typographic, ang clip words ng typographical error? Sige nga, uh, Princess, what is the clip word of typographical error? Do you know the answer? Princess? Typo, mistake. Okay, the clip word here is typo. So, yan. Una, hanapin mo yung uh, clip word ng typographical errors, which is typo. So, gumawa tayo ng sentence. There is a typo in the article I have read. So, yan yung unang sentence mo. You will get one point for that. So, isulat mo na clip word, one point. Clip word is typo, one word. One point, rather. Second is to, you have to uh, create a sentence. You have to use that word in a sentence. So, you, there is a typo in the article I have read. So, yun yung ikalawang points mo. Ano yung ikatlong points? Yung pagsulat ng synonyms ng clip words na ginamit mo. So, the mistake in the spelling used makes me hardly understand it. So, the word mistake here is the synonym of the word typo. So, you will get three points for number one only. So, if you answer all those questions, okay, you will get 15 points. So that is your score for your performance output. Okay, do you understand the instruction given here in letter C? Raise your hand if you understand the, uh, the instruction. So Shandy and Ava, uh, sino pa yan? Hillary, si Charisse, si Nestor, si Princess, si Precious, uh, have, and again also, uh, know or know how to answer this uh, part. Okay? So, that ends our session for today. Actually, dapat dalawa ang topics ko. But, as I have uh, I tried this, ano, this session, nakita ko, ah, parang ano, parang kukulangin tayo for the second section. Session. Our second session is conjunction. So, I will just ask my co-teachers if we can be allowed to discuss this topic. Maybe on Monday because I am uh, and uh, ano pa yon? Uh, uh, I have a work from home schedule on Monday. So you can ask your parent if, if you can attend. So I have to, I will make a poll in the Facebook group. Kapag nakita kong marami ang magjo-join, we will present this one because this is a long topic and this is your second set of uh, assessment. So I'm going to stop sharing this one.
Okay, can you please turn on your camera because I will just take a screenshot of our um, session. Tingnan nga natin kung kaya ka. Wait lang. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, so put your best smile. Okay, ano ito ang nangyari? Okay, isa pa? Bakit kaya itong cellphone ko? Kasi nakatingin siya eh. Okay, isa pa. Ready? One, two, three, smile. Ah, isa pa. Dito naman sa laptop ko. Kasi I use my phone and I'm, you, I used also my, my laptop. Okay. May I see your best smile, kids? Ready? One, two, three, smile. Okay, wait lang. I'm just going to post it here. So, sana next time, makita ko ulit kayo, ano? Okay. Isa pa. Siguro, do you want a walkie shot, guys? Do you want a walkie shot, kids? Do you want? You can nod your head. You, do you want? Okay. One, two. One, two, three. Smile, kids. Okay. I'm just going to post it in the Facebook group. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, do you have any questions? You can just raise it now and then I'm going to end this live after answering all your questions. Okay, Hilary, what's your question? Hilary, do you have a question? Yung mga hindi ko po nasagotan, eh, uh, ano ko na lang ko sa ano? Alin po? Yun sa iba, yung ano po? Yung itatanong ko na lang sa oh. ano po? Alin po? Parang nahumina yung internet ko. Ano po? Yung mga hindi ko po nasagotan, eh, ah, ano ko po sa, eh, sasabihin ko po kay Tita Colin. Anong hindi mo nasagotan? Yung mga unang assessment test ba? Yung tinutukoy mo? Or ito, itong topic natin. Yung, yung ano po, yung last. Anong topic? Can you please read the topic? Mm. 